Good morning. Today I am moving out of my studio flat and I'll be moving into my new studio flat tomorrow. Um, as you can tell, it's a little bit echoing in here. I've moved out most of my stuff and I only have like the items that I need to carry with me at all times, like my electronics, uh, my headphones, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that I don't lose anything today um, because I have quite a few items that I need to carry with me all day. Uh, but we'll see. And uh, yeah. Let's get started. It's going to be a little bit sad knowing the fact that I'm never going to be able to see this view anymore. It has been really interesting to see how this building has been constructed over the last six months. But hopefully the new view for my new studio flat should also be pretty good. Uh, fingers crossed, but we'll see. So this is what I need to carry around with me all day. So it is 8 o'clock here and I've been working for over 4 hours so I think I might grab like a quick dinner and then basically walk around a little bit uh, around Wembley, get some fresh air, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just woke up. Uh, I'll probably get some breakfast first, um, but before that, I'll probably take a shower as well. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a hectic day. Um, uh, I, I need to uh, get my stuff ready. Uh, I need to check into my new studio flat. Um, I need to contact the movers so they. So they bring all of my stuff to my new studio flat as well. Um, yeah, I almost forgot one of my bags yesterday, um, which is a little bit crazy. Uh, so I'm hoping that I don't forget anything today. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I just finished eating breakfast and I'm currently outside uh, and I was thinking about uh, going up, uh, going on a little walk around Wembley because the weather is so nice. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, so it is 4 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon. I managed to move everything uh, into my new place. Uh, I managed to unpack a little bit, uh, but it's sort of like a war zone in here. Um, you'll see what I mean.
Hey guys, so I spent yesterday evening and uh, this morning cleaning out most of my room. So I think I'll probably just need to vacuum clean it. Uh, just pick up some like some odd trash like uh, just lying on the floor and stuff and hopefully we should be good to go. So before I vacuum clean my place, uh, I need to join a meeting at 1 o'clock uh, with the Bartlett. Um, so the dean wants to give us all the new students like a rundown of the new unit application system. So when you study architecture at the Bartlett, you typically join a unit um, out of like 12, 13 different units. And a unit is typically comprised of multiple students and typically uh, two or three tutors. And the tutors give you like a guiding hand uh, for architecture projects throughout the year. And uh, because there's a new unit uh, application system in place, I'm quite uh, look. Uh, I'm quite eager about uh, hearing about it. Uh, but before I join the meeting, I think I'm going to grab some coffee before that. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey guys, so I'm back from my meeting, and uh, I have to say it was a bit of a weird meeting. I don't think anybody was particularly happy with this new unit uh, application and allocation process. Um, I think the general consensus was pretty bad, uh, and they literally cut off uh, the meeting after like an hour or something like that because they ran out of time. So I think a lot of people still have a lot of questions about this process, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was a little bit frustrating. Uh, that uh, they just literally cut off all the uh, the whole Q and A process right after an hour. Uh, but in any case, to give you guys a rundown of this new unit uh, application slash allocation system, apparently they're going to use like a, uh, a sorting algorithm with a human moderator to uh, to make sure that people get into their top five uh, preferred units, uh, which is a bit strange because I think the Bartlett is currently offering um, eleven or twelve units uh, to get all together. For their, uh, for their master's program and writing down half of, uh, of all the units that are being offered. I think it just doesn't make any sense. I think your fourth and fifth choices are going to be pretty much afterthoughts, so to speak. I think most people are interested in two or three units tops. And uh, people were also asking about swapping units, like what if I get into my fourth choice and someone else got into like the fourth and fifth choice and would it be possible to swap? And the answer was a resounding no, which I thought was quite bizarre. Like, if they want to swap, I, I don't really see the problem of swapping, but in any case, um, you're not allowed to. And uh, I did ask a few questions about this sorting algorithm, like, like how does it work, uh, who actually developed it, um, has it been tested before? And most of the directors, uh, most of the program directors couldn't really, like, answer my question, so to speak. Like. They used a lot of technical jargon, but nobody re could really give me a clear-cut answer. Like, repeating the word equity, um, it doesn't make the whole process more equitable, so to speak. Um, in any case, uh, I am a little bit worried. Um, I think a lot of people were also worried about uh, ending, up, uh, of, uh, ending up in their fourth or fifth choice, but uh, we'll see, honestly. Um, but fingers crossed, I do get into my first or second choice. I think I have sort of like an idea about which units I want to join for this year. But uh, apparently they're going to introduce us to uh, each unit's uh, brief and program for this year uh, next week. So I'm going to be attending that, uh, that meeting uh, in person. And I'll probably make a decision that day. Uh, but in any case, uh, it's been a pretty crazy day. I think I'll probably get some dinner now just, just to get my mind off of this stuff. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, hopefully everything works out, uh, fingers crossed.